your company on this Friday night. This is the last front page for the year, but of course the newspapers won't stop. I'm joined by Scott Emerson, Frank Russo and Paige Taylor. The Courier Mail tomorrow, Paige, I know that you've covered asylum seekers, so I'm going to come to you first on this story. The front page, this Medibac Hotel bill, a group of 45 asylum seekers who doctors declared were in need of urgent medical care uh, in a four-star hotel costing Australian taxpayers more than $410,000 $410, a week. Paige, thank you, Karen Phelps, just by the by. I think um, I've known for a long time in my reporting back and forth from Christmas Island and um, at various facilities around Australia and at Nauru that it, it's not cheap to accommodate asylum seekers. That, that bill is very high and I'm sure some people are shocked by it. I, I'm not. Uh, but I think um, w what is going to resonate with uh, people when they read that story more than anything, I reckon, is that some of those people who um, must have claimed they needed urgent medical attention have since declined anything. I think that will resonate with people. That's a very polite way of putting it. Frank, you've done the math, as the Americans say. So this group of 45 asylum seekers... Uh, four-star hotel, costing taxpayers $410,000 a week. What does that work out to be? I worked out, uh, yeah, Jane, uh, about $9,100 a week. So, I mean, that's absolutely outrageous. Where, where are these people staying in the, in the first place for, for it to cost us, the Australian taxpayers, I guess they're under this guard, aren't they? Just, just in, a, in a paragraph here, it says the weekly cost breakdown includes $40,000 for accommodation, including three prepared meals a day, $280,000 for 24-7 security on site, and $90,000 for transporting them to an immigration centre for an hour's exercise. And then they can also use the, gym's hot the hotel's gym. I mean... <laughs> There'll be a lot of uh, outraged what, people when they, when they read this story tomorrow. There will be, and night after night I talk to pensioners who can't even afford to keep the lights on, let alone run the air conditioner. Oh, that's right. Um, all right, Scott, a quick hit on this one and then the fine old mess, the, the lead foots. Your view on the asylum seekers story, you know, the, the desperately needed medical attention. Yeah. Well, I think what Paige touched on was exactly the point. I think it does cost a lot of money to hold people in these situations because there's obviously security and all those other things. Mm. But what will just annoy people incredibly, uh, just outrage them, is the idea that they've been brought over under the Medivac bill. They've been put in this hotel apparently needing, you know, urgent medical care that they couldn't get on Manus. And there's some, some of them are refusing medical assistance, medical attention, that's the thing that will outrage and anger people out there when they read this story by Renee Galaris. Another great story in the Korean Mail from her. It's true, and Paige, I'll just go back to you very, very briefly, um, because this is published tomorrow on the backdrop of firefighters and volunteers who are giving up not just days, weeks and months of their lives to fight fires, and yet these people, you know... <laughs> They're being taken to exercise on the taxpayer's dime. It's, it's just a... I, I have to be candid, it's a very fraught subject. Mm. I have, um, in my time reporting on this subject, I've encountered people who completely misunderstood the um, our humanitarian quota. They uh, had been sold a lie and they felt they were coming to Australia um, in a fee-for-service situation. Mm. I have... Uh, and um, I have also met people who are um, in the most desperate situation and uh, clearly deserve our protection. There's a there's a whole gamut. That is that you make a really really good point. So people who were duped, who thought that they were paying for a service, Scott. Uh, just quickly, a staggering one in four speeding fines have been waived or torn up. Mm. This is the Courier Mail in the past year. As new figures really reveal police are cracking down on dodgy drivers trying to illegally offload their fines to someone else. Yeah, look, and, and I, I 